Hey guys, Nate from Winter, here today to talk to you about Winter's Pegasus system, which is a complete blade change for a western wideout 8 to 10 foot style plow. We're going to go ahead and we're going to uninstall our current prototype system that's been on for five years, and we're going to reinstall a brand new system to show you just how easy it is to put Winter Equipment's Pegasus system on a western wideout plow. All right, guys, we're down here on the ground and we're going to begin the process of uninstalling the Western Whiteout system that we have on. Again, it's a prototype system that we put on this plow five years ago. We're going to go ahead and take that off and put on a fresh edge, show you how that goes on. So we're going to go ahead and start the process. The first step is you've got a, uh, a bolt in here that kind of holds the wing edge in place. So when it comes out and snaps in, it's kind of the pivot point for that. So we're going to remove that. We'll slide the edge completely out and then go ahead and show you how to install the new Pegasus adapter for the wideout edge. Hold on, she slipped. Almost halfway. Hey, hold up real quick. There you have it, guys. You've gone ahead and uninstalled the existing wear components on this Western Whiteout plow. And you can see that's kind of a pain in the butt. Not easy to do, bolts rust, bolts stick, you gotta grind, it's a pain. We're now gonna go ahead and install the new wear components on the plow, show you how that works. But before we do that, we wanna take a real quick time out here and talk to you about care of your mold board. Before you go ahead and put that new edge on, take a few minutes, take a towel, some window cleaner, whatever you got laying around, and go ahead and kind of wipe this grime off. That way, when you go ahead and put your fresh cutting edge on, you get a real nice contact surface. That cutting edge sits flush to the mold board. You go ahead and torque down your bolts. Everything sits real nice and flush. All right, well, the first step to the installation of a Pegasus system to a Western White Owl plow is gonna be able to go ahead and put on the center cutting edges. Now, in the traditional Western world, you're gonna get a 5 8 by 6 full length, seven and a half foot blade. When your equipment land, you get two pieces, two a left and a right, a passenger and a driver's side, whatever you fancy. And we've also gone ahead and way upgraded your cutting edge by going to a 3 quarter by 6 cutting edge, available in heat treated steel or with carbide inserts and a 5 8 abrasion resistant cover plate. You can see our wear indicator tabs. Basically, this kind of lets you know when you've gone through the service life of the cutting edge, especially true for those carbide ones. Once you kind of get up to here, you've kind of worn out the carbide. We also feature interlocking tabs. You can see the female at the top here. There's a male at the bottom. And we'll go ahead and show you how the female and the male interlock at the installation in the center of the cutting edge to give it additional rigidity. So we're gonna go ahead, install these blades for you, and then we'll move into the wing portion and show you all the neat features that Winter's Pegasus system offers there. We're going to move into the portion of the installation where we talk about putting on Winter's rubber wideout edge. It's the edge that works on the wing portion of the wideout plow. But real fast, let's talk a little bit about this existing factory edge that you would get uh, from the OEM. 
Couple things, one piece solid urethane construction. Uh, it's got a groove on the back here that's gonna butt to the bottom of the wide out uh, mold board. And then you can see it's got a groove here which is designed to run over the existing carriage bolt heads on the factory edge. Uh, Winter uses a uh, countersunk plow bolt, so no worry about that. Um, and again, you don't have any real cool things to do here in terms of adjustment. So Winter Equipment's uh, solution starts with this adapter plate. It's all punched and ready to go. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, you're gonna fit it up here, line up the bolt holes, go on and bolt it on. We're gonna go ahead and bolt this adapter plate on, and then we'll come back and show you how we hang the rubber, and then how you can adjust the rubber uh, to suit your plowing environment. Okay guys, now we're gonna go ahead and install the rubber cutting edge to our adapter plate on our whiteout system here. A couple things, this is Winter Equipment's premium rubber. So good it's patented, you can see it's got its two layers of fabric in here, kind of like a tire. Keep it nice and rigid, nice and firm, won't curl back, bend, twist, or shred on you. It is an inch and a half thick by 10 inches tall. It's got its four inch slot to allow you to adjust the cutting edge. And it's really just that simple. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna kind of hang your bolts a little loose, but enough that they stay on. Go ahead, take your rubber, and without disturbing the bolts too much, Hanging on, again, you can see I have a little bit of an extra piece here. You wanna hang the thicker edge on the inside so as it moves and twists in its operation, you've got coverage in there and no gap. You're gonna take your clamp plate, which has an outside and an inside. The inside has these two cleats here. They're gonna help compress against the rubber and hold it in place. And then you're gonna go ahead and just take your nut, hand tighten it, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do at the end here, once you've got all three of your nuts hand tightened on and you've done both sides, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and lower the plow to the ground, kinda of let that rubber self level off. Go ahead, take your torque gun and uh, tighten your bolts down to the appropriate torque. Hey okay guys, we're back and we're gonna close it out here. And what we're gonna close it out with is we're gonna talk about the adjustment or the change of the rubber edge on this wide out wing when you need to. So the first thing obviously we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up all of our nuts so we can go ahead and pull off the clamp bar and then take our rubber edge off. And again, we can go ahead and flip it. If we wanted to, we can move it to the other side. Say this is completely destroyed, we can go ahead and hang a new piece on. But again, what didn't I have to do here? I didn't have to go in the back and pull out that pivot pin or do a whole bunch of stuff. All I really did was move the edge out where it was easy to work on. Honestly, the, the edge could be all the way in, the plow could be on the ground, the plow could be off the truck. It's just that easy to work on this adapter plate that Winter Equipment is designed for your wide out plow. But we go ahead, we take the rubber edge, we put it right back over, put our clamp bar right back on, just ever so slightly get the nuts on. And then once you have the rubber adjusted to where you want it to be adjusted, you go ahead and torque those bolts on as tight as they need to be. So that's it. Our Pegasus system for a Western wide out plow. To learn more about this product and the rest of the products that Winter Equipment offers you, give us a call today at 800-2-WINTER or check us out online at winterequipment.com.